Brilliant strategy. You Thank know, I'm proud to be part of the team. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, before I forget here, yeah, I'm having a dinner meeting with the MD of Nadel. You want to join us? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That won't be possible. I have an engagement with my husband for tonight. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I see why you're eating a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was more hungry than I thought. 
Or maybe the food is just too good. <laughs> oh, then say a very big thank you to the chef. Thank you, chef. <laughs> <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> okay, for that, that's your reward. Mm. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Mm. Well, I just observed they've been eating much more lately. Uh, one of those things. I guess I get more hungry lately. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. how was your day? Hey, baby. I saw you were bubbling the bath, mm -hmm. so I decided to get us some wine. Mm -hmm. Isn't he so cute? I think I've been stressed so much from work, so I decided to run the bath to ease of stress. Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should show you a better way mm -hmm. to relieve stress. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Come in. I'm here to check in with you about the report I sent to your email. You are yet to minutes on them, and I wanted to be sure you got the emails. Yes, I did. I've been replying to a lot of mails recently, so don't worry, I'll get to that. It's just I've been so tired lately, nauseous, and smells turns me off, so I'm just trying to relax my head. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get to it. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. Are you sure you're not pregnant? No. <laughs> if I'm pregnant, I should be the first to know. Those are obviously the signs of pregnancy. Look, I'm just tired, okay? I'm not pregnant. Don't worry, I'll walk on the mails and send them right back. Well, if you say so, I would appreciate if you minute on the mails, please. I will, sure. Bye. I was always the last to know I was pregnant. Just say. <laughs> Come on, if I'm pregnant, I should know. I mean, why does everyone think I'm pregnant? It's not like I'm even trying. You've been married for three good years. I don't understand why you keep holding off on getting pregnant and having a family. Tony and I ain't complaining. He doesn't want to have kids, at least not yet. As for me, I'm focused on my career. I want to attain the director position before I turn 35. Hey, stop that. I'm trying to talk to you, Aunt Yvonne, okay? No noise. I'm so sorry. Go on. My point is society should normalize marriage for companionship. I mean, it shouldn't be solely for the sake of breeding kids. It should be okay if one wants to have kids. I mean, if you choose not to, it should be fine as well. I can't for the life of me understand why two people will come together, get married, and decide not to have kids. <laughs> I mean, kids are adorable. They are our very life essence, and they bring joy to a home. Kids are amazing. They're the best ever. That's it. The both of you are going upstairs. So much for being adorable. <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes they drive you crazy. Oh, sorry. Help me. Help okay, me. you hold on to this. Oh, wow. Oh, so sorry. I hold on to this. Cute Where are they? Forward match. <laughs> Upstairs. Keep moving. Left, right. Forward match. Keep going. Keep going. Yes, you guys. Keep going. 
Go to your room immediately. I don't want to hear any noise. Take care of your younger brother, okay? Mommy loves you. Keep moving. I don't want to spot you over there. Keep moving. Keep moving. Go watch TV upstairs, okay? <laughs> so adorable. Hey, girl. <laughs> My angel. Mwah. I want pregnancy test kits. Okay, just a moment. I'll have to. How much is it? It's 500 per one. Do you have any restroom I could quickly use here? Yeah, over there. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. I need to feel this awesome. What? Oh my god. Hmm. 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 Food is make baby. Are you okay? Huh? Baby, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. Is he about the director position? Honey, I have told you, nobody I am is pregnant. more qualified for this job. Did you hear what I just said? I am pregnant. Did you do this? Babe. How did this happen? How? Babe, you were supposed to be on the pills. Or oh, have you been lying to me? No, Tony. I wasn't lying to you. I mean, things like this happen even with the pills. I will never lie to you. just expecting this news and I'm, I'm so sorry I'm so sorry but babe I need you to go to the hospital and have 
have it removed. Tony. Look, now this has happened. I would want to keep this one, please. No. Babe, from the onset we agreed. No kids. Babe, I understand you had a difficult childhood after you lost your parents. And that affected your views on having a child. I understand that totally. But look around you now, babe. Look around you. You have no reason not to have your own child. Look, I'm not even sure if I'm pregnant or not. I still have to go to the hospital to confirm. But really, babe, I honestly see no reasons why we can't have kids. Actually, there is a reason. Which is? I do not want kids. Never will I. I mean, never will I. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how do you explain that you are so afraid? Mrs. Edouli, your test result confirms that you're pregnant. Four weeks almost gone. And the expected date of delivery is the second week of November or the first week of December. Your vitals are very good. Congratulations. Is there anything the matter? You seem not to be happy with the news. It's just that I... You don't want the pregnancy? You see, in the course of my job, I have encountered patients who feel this way. Now tell me, is there any particular reason you don't want it? My husband doesn't want kids. Hmm. How long have you been married? Three years now. Okay, okay. Is he, is he passing through some difficulties? I mean, financial difficulties? Not at all. We are very good. I mean, we are more than good. You know, I am asking. I just want to know his reasons. He just doesn't want kids. That's interesting. So tell me, what about you? What do you want? Tony just doesn't... I didn't talk about Tony. I asked a simple question. It's about you, okay? I believe Tony, that's your husband's name, right? Good. We already know what Tony wants. It's about you now. Because I have looked into your eyes and I have seen clearly that you want to keep the pregnancy as you should. I am not saying you must keep it. No, not at all. Just that I have seen such scenarios play out many times. Okay? And at the end of the day, you find out that the husband becomes so excited about the pregnancy. What I'm trying to say in essence is that you should talk to him. Go home, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your husband. Give him cogent reasons. Tell him why you have decided to keep the pregnancy. Okay? Be firm with that. Convince him. At the end of the day, I assure you, you will be happy. He will also be happy.
Tony, we can do this. We can. We have the time, the resources. How difficult is it to raise just one kid? What I do not have is the resources to raise such kids. I don't like kids. Okay, please, please, stop, stop, stop. stop, stop, stop. Tony, wait, please, let's talk, okay? See, we're just talking about one kid, not kids. This is our life. It's not your life anymore, okay? I am part of it now. So you don't get to ultimately decide. You are not bringing this unwanted child into our lives. Do you understand me? But Tony, Tony, don't, don't, Okay, what if I decide to keep it? You won't get rid of this thing. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how do you explain that you are so afraid? Of all the happiness that you would ever know Oh, no doubt you may have been hurt By the bruises and the scars that you know no, 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 no. So bad you don't seem to realize Could be a blessing in disguise So how many times How many times Should I remind you Don't wanna be a prisoner Stuck in yesterday Don't stop, 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 stop. stop. process the cost by comparing the options in the market and probably make it free to the end users without no obligation. Um, Fender Corporation is planning to make a hit. What is the position of Fender Corporation? Yvonne. Yvonne. Um, we We've, um, we've gotten them to agree to a sit-down and it's been scheduled for the next one month. Look, we don't have the luxury of time. We need them on the table and we need it right now. I believe if we push harder, we can make it happen before then. Well, uh, do you think you can make it happen? Y yes, I think she, she can. She, she has been very resourceful. Then let's make it happen. Um, sir, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. You've been distracted of late. Are you okay? You do need a day off. I'm fine, sir. Yvonne, what happened earlier shouldn't repeat itself. You need total concentration at work. It won't happen again, sir. Well, if there's anything you want me to help you with, or you want to talk, let me know, okay? Thank you, sir.
Why are you doing this? Doing what? This. Ignoring me. Avoiding me. Refusing to eat my food. You come home late. You leave before I wake up. Is it because I refuse to do what you're asking? Yvonne, I don't have anything to say to you. It's funny you'd say that because you always had a lot to talk about. Do you remember those nights? Do you remember? Just the two of us sitting out here, talking, sharing our dreams, our goals. Hmm? Listening to each other's heartbeats. Without a care in the world, because nothing else mattered. Do you remember? Babe, do you? I remember. I'm tired. I'm tired of fighting with you. I, I miss you. I miss us. I want us back. Babe. I miss you too. And I want us back too. But just the two of us without giving a care about the world. It. If that's what you want, I will. I love you. I love it. I love you so much. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> Taking them up already. Yeah. Um, I thought you'd want to come with me. Um, I I have an appointment to meet up to. Very important. But don't worry. Don't worry. Let's go. It will be some sort of emotional support if you were there. Please, I don't want just to. Uh, honey, it's not going to take you time. It's something that you're going to walk in and out in a couple of minutes, and believe me, you will love it when you're out. Hmm? Just call me, honey, it's not a problem. Let me have my bath. Hey, Mama. 
What is it? Why are you keeping a long face? Hmm? Come here. Smile for mommy. <laughs> Smile for mommy. It's okay. Hmm? What is it? Hmm? I want daddy to come. Don't worry. Daddy will be here soon, okay? Smile for mama. Hey. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. Mommy's girl. Is she? She's six months and two weeks. Aww. She's so beautiful. Thank you. Say hello to Auntie. Hi, kitty. Say hello. Mrs. Ibe. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's so cute. Please let me hold her. Let me get my teeth sure. together. Thank you. Ah. What do you mean by you are keeping it? I'm carrying it to full terms and breaking it. Are you kidding me? We, even we agreed. We agreed. You said that you were going to take care of it. I changed my mind. Oh my God. You changed your mind? That means that every single thing we said to ourselves last night didn't mean anything to you. You literally, you literally tricked me, didn't you, right? Tricked you? Do you know how silly you sound right now? I put it to you, right? You never went to that hospital. You never did. I went to the hospital, Tony. I did. But something happened. I, I had an epiphany. Epiphany? Epiphany? <laughs> yes, Tony. I had an epiphany. Do you even know what that means? Do you even know... Probably you're hearing that word for the first time. Maybe you're just trying to use it for the first time. That's what you're trying to do, right? Look, Tony. I am not doing this with you today, okay? I won't. I am tired. I need to sleep. And I think you need to get some sleep too. Let's talk about this in the morning. By then, I'm sure you'd have a better sense of rational reasoning. Sense of rational reasoning? You know what? I'm done talking. I'm just done talking. But my instruction is simple. Very simple. Go to the hospital and take care of that thing! Tony, you're sounding take rid of what thing? It's our baby we're talking about. Your here. baby, not my baby! It's your baby. It's our baby. You put it in there. Could I have gotten myself pregnant? Your common sense would have actually told you to protect yourself if you did not want this to happen. Protect myself? 
So why didn't you get a vasectomy since your grown ass self is so scared to handle a child? Don't you have a sense of what is right and wrong? How do you justify that? Why would you even think or ask me to do a thing like that? Look, Tony, I love you, but I love this baby too. I will not do it. I cannot do it. Yvonne, Yvonne, are you willing and ready to give up everything we share, everything we have, just because of this thing? It's a child, it's a baby, it's our baby and it's growing in here, it's a life. Look, we are both angry now and we've said a whole lot of things we're not supposed to say to each other. Calm down and we can talk about this later, okay? Let's think this through. Yes, I am angry. I am very angry. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being angry. But I mean every single word that I just said to you. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go And how do you explain That you are so afraid Of all the happiness that you would ever know Oh, no doubt you may have been hurt By the bruises and the scars that you know So bad, you don't seem to realize Could be a blessing in disguise So how many times, how many times Should I remind you Don't wanna be a prisoner Stuck in yesterday, don't let the past Open your eyes and see the beauty of today Yeah I won't live my life in the shadow of your past Sometimes it feels like you don't want to let it go It's driving me insane a war against my heart It hurts so bad I guess it's time to let yes, you know Yes, it's time to let you know Oh, I know you may have been hurt, hurt. And the memories keep haunting you down Ooh, yeah, yeah. Right now, you may have to realize could be a blessing in disguise So how many times Should I remind you Don't wanna be a prisoner Stuck in yesterday Don't let the past Redefine you Open your eyes and see the beauty of today so how many times, oh, should I remind you? Don't wanna be a prisoner. Stuck in yesterday. Stuck in yesterday. Oh. Don't let the past Ooh, redefine you. Open your eyes and see the beauty of today. Hello, okay. I'm sorry I woke you up. I'm worried. I'm, I'm scared. I think something bad must have happened to Tony. Are you alright? Just calm down. What happened? 
We had a fight yesterday night and he left the house. He did not come back home. He has never slept out. Never. I've been trying to reach him. I can't get him on the phone. I'm so worried he's never done anything like this before. He's back. I'm sorry to have bothered you. How Babe, you, you got me worried. Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how Babe, are you what are you doing? You are so afraid what's, what's going on? What are you doing? I'm going to another part of town. Until you decide or have everything on your decisions. Come on, babe. Why, why are you doing this? Why? You know you don't have to do this. Let's talk. We can talk this over. You, you don't have to. Babe, please. Don't do this. Don't. Yvonne. I am not going to stand with you or spend a second with you in this house. This thing. Come, oh, babe, you don't have to do this. Please, let's talk. Please don't go. Babe, please, please. Tony, please, please. Babe, please don't go. Please. So we can talk this out. Please listen to me. Don't do this. Tony, please. Please, babe, babe, please don't go. Please. Please. Please don't go, babe. Please. Tony, please, please listen to me. Please, we can talk this out. Babe, please don't go. Babe, please, I'm begging you. Please don't leave me. We can talk this out, okay? Okay, pro babe, please, listen to me. Leave me alone. Babe, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Babe, please. A war against my heart. It hurts so bad. I guess it's time to let you know. Guess it's time to let me know. Oh, I know you may have been hurt, and the memories keep haunting you down. Right now, you may have to realize. Could be a blessing in disguise So how many times Should I remind you Don't wanna be a prisoner Stuck in yesterday Don't let the past Redefine you Open your eyes and see the beauty left me, okay, he's gone I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. Why would he leave you for getting pregnant with his own child? I mean, it's his child, right? Of course it's his child. But he doesn't want a child. He's never wanted kids at all. Eh, but why? He has always had this fear of not wanting to raise a child in once. But I thought he would change his mind at some point. I mean, now we have all it takes to raise a child. We can afford to raise a kid. I don't know why he doesn't want that. <sighs> and now he wants me to abort this baby. He wants me to have an abortion. Hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> I, I, I still can't wrap my head around him forcing you to abort his own child. A baby that a lot of married couples will do anything to have. No offense, with all due respect. That's your husband. You know I've been saying it. That, that man, he's, he's a bit strange. Yvonne, I hope you're not thinking of doing anything stupid. Honestly, I don't know what to do, okay? I'm confused. I don't know what to do. And I really want to have this baby. That's what you should do. Yes. But Tony doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. And he kicked against it. You are not living your life for Tony. Look. I think Tony is just a bit scared. Hmm? A lot of first time fathers are. But with time, they adjust. So... 
I think it's a good idea that he he left. You know, he has gone to, you know, take some time out to think things through. And I suggest you give him that space. Allow him to think. And he will, he will come around, eh? Oh, please don't cry. He will come around. <sighs> it's, it's, it's usual. Just, it's just cold feet. Okay? How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how do you explain that you are so afraid? Of all the happiness that you would ever know Oh, no doubt you may have been hurt By the bruises and the scars that you know no, 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 no. So bad you don't seem to realize Could be a blessing in disguise So how many times How many times Should I remind you Don't wanna be a prisoner Stuck in yesterday Don't let it pass Redefine ya Open your eyes and see the beauty of today yeah. I won't live my life in the shadow of your past Sometimes it feels like you don't want to let it go It's driving me insane, a war against my heart It hurts so bad, I guess it's time to let you know Yes, it's time to let you know Oh I know you may have been hurt And the memories keep haunting you down Thanks for coming Don't act surprised I heard what you did at my office I had to do what I had to do I was desperate I've not seen you in a very long time now I mean it's more than a month you left the house you won't take my calls. You won't return my calls. I had to do it. I want you to know this. I have instructed my security personnel never to allow you around my office premises again. You're joking, right? Yvonne, do not let me put a restraining order against you. Tony, why are you doing this? Why am I here? I wanted to see you because it's lonely without you in the house. I miss you. Please come back home. Please. I can't do this alone. Especially now. Please come home. I miss you. I came here hoping that you would tell me something different. But I can see that you have not changed from your decisions. Now this is what I have to say to you. Don't you ever call me again. And don't you ever come around my environment ever again. Do you understand me? For your own good. I need to be sure you are okay. What if I want to reach you? My reach you? lawyers will get to you. 
Goodbye. This is she. You're my husband's what? Lawyer? Is he okay? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I can hear you. Okay. As I was saying, the even are you alright? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. No, you are not fine. What is the problem? You can share, okay? What is it? It's Tony. Your husband. Is he fine? What happened to him? He wants a divorce. So sorry. But both of you have you been having issues of late? We had a bit of a misunderstanding. Why I, I thought it was something we could walk through. But oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's okay. I think you should close for the day. I don't think you should drive in this mood, okay? I will drive you. Probably take you somewhere so we can sit and talk. So I'll wait for you downstairs. <sighs> Are you sure you'll be all right all alone? Yes. I will. And thanks for dropping me. It's all right. You need to rest, okay? I'll have my driver come drop the car for you tomorrow morning. Thank you. And have a good night. Good night.
dear God, Yvonne. When last did you have your bath? Have you even eaten anything? What's your plan? To starve your baby to death? Oh God. Babe, what's the matter now? What's wrong? Yvonne, look at me. Please. Please look at me, Yvonne. You need to be strong for you and your baby. No man, no man is worth losing yourself over. Especially a man who will divorce you because you're pregnant with his own child. Just walk away so easily. All those years we shared together, like he threw everything away. Just like that. Why won't he want his unborn child? Okay, I mean, who doesn't want their unborn child? Who? Well, it's his loss. It's for our loss. No, not from where I'm sitting. He was the one who walked away. Maybe he has the right to act the way he does now. What? Maybe. Please, Yvonne. Don't make excuses for, for a grown-ass man who can't handle his own shit. A coward. That's what he is. Is he, is he really a coward? Why would I force him to have a child when he clearly doesn't want to have any? And why would he force you to have an abortion? To abort your own baby? Oh God. Okay. Oh. I know. It's so difficult, but you have to try. You have to. Everything will be fine. It will take a while. Weeks, months, years maybe. But I know you will be fine. Even better. Mm. What matters is that you made the right decision to keep this baby. Everything will be fine. And I will be by your side. I will be with you all through. Every step of the way to make sure you are fine. You're not alone. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. But what you would have told me? I just felt um, embarrassed with the whole situation. And besides, I didn't think you would give a care. Ivor, I care about you a lot. Sometimes I just feel like a failure. You are not a failure. You weren't the one that walked away. He lost. Why does everyone keep saying that? It's actually both our losses. Well, there's reasons for this, okay? There's someone better out there for you.
So, are you getting serious with him? Hell no. He's my boss. Uh -huh. You guys have been spending a lot of time together. Okay, he's still my boss, please. And so what? He's single, successful, and so are you. Technically, I am still married. Married. As in technically married. Hmm. Auntie, when you are feeling government for, it's either single, married, or divorced. <laughs> there is no technically married. Oh my God. You have been separated for four months. And they slammed you with divorce. Keep up, Yvonne. Even at that, okay, it still won't work. I just see both of us as two people who enjoy each other's company, and that's it. Because he's your boss. Even if he weren't my boss, I'll still be separated, pregnant, and heading for a divorce. Look, I'm four months gone already. I'll soon be showing. If I start showing what happens, how many young, successful, single young men would want to date a pregnant divorcee? Hmm, good question. Let me ask Google. Well, the statistics are unsure at the moment. But there's one thing for sure and of consolation. He knows you are having sex. I mean, there are no married virgins out there. <laughs> okay, you're such a clown. And you are being so impossible right now. <laughs> Look, just unfold yourself to him and see where it goes. You said it yourself. He's a very great guy. And he seems to care about you so much. He is a good guy. Mm -hmm. I just wish things were different. And things can be different if you let them. You owe it to yourself. Loosen up. Hmm. So as I was saying, most of them, company and personal clients we got loan from are beginning to drop their checks now. So all we need to do is to verify them, especially with our sister banks, to make sure everything is... Yvonne. What? You were lost in thought. What are you thinking about? Is anything bothering you? Not at all. I'm fine. You can't tell me you are fine. You can't tell me there's nothing. Ivan, no matter what is bothering you, you can share with me. I'm here for you. I will always be here for you. Alex, you have been very nice to me. You're a good man. I don't deserve this. No. You deserve more. I don't. I don't deserve this. Look, I'm sorry I can't continue doing this with you. No. Just stop, Ivan. Stop. Alex, you're a good man and you deserve better. I can't give you what you want. Please, Sivan, please. I can't continue like this. I can't do this. Sorry. The woes of yesterday. Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how do you explain? You ended things with him? Why on earth did you do that? I don't know. I, I just... I just felt I was way in over my head. I... I don't know. I don't know. And now you're here, feeling miserable with yourself. What's even more miserable is seeing him tomorrow at the office. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thought of that scares me. Okay, what's, what's happening? What's going on with me? What is wrong with me? What is wrong is you pushing away a good man from yourself. 
Wait. I hope it's not because of Tony you're doing this. Girl, wake up and face reality. Yvonne, Tony is not coming back. And I wouldn't even expect you to take him back, even if he did. This is a man who abandoned you in this condition. Cut off all forms of communication and put the icing on the cake. Slant you with divorce. For God's sake, Yvonne. Okay, this is not about Tony, okay? Not anymore. Then what? I'm scared. I'm, I'm so scared. I just, I feel if he finds out about the baby, that might be the end of us. Oh, babe. I told you already. You have to tell him about the baby. It's hard. Okay, okay, listen. Check out this gamble. Tell him about the baby. And if he loves you and decides to stay, fine. And if he decides that he can't handle it, then that's it. At least you will know. I know it's hard. I know. But it's better than this prolonged agony of what ifs. And whatever the outcome, trust me, you will be fine. Okay? Okay, this is this is really hard. It's, it's hard. Don't worry. God. You'll be alright. trying to avoid me. Yvonne. I'm trying to avoid situations like this. So you're really avoiding me? Oh, oh my God. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go And how do you explain That you are so afraid Of all the happiness that you would ever From the result here, it shows that the vitals are fine She must have collapsed from extreme exhaustion yeah. I know her condition right now, she doesn't really need to stress but yeah. thankfully the baby is doing all right oh the baby's fine mm -hmm. okay. but she she ha she needs to have a lot of rest no and, problem, and, no. and no more straining no problem yeah, doctor yeah. no problem of course okay you're awake what happened You collapsed. The baby is fine. Oh, thank God. Why didn't you tell me about the baby? I'm sorry, I I didn't know how. I was just confused. I, I thought you were... Yvonne, I've told you. Your past and present will not change how I feel for you. I understand how you feel. The situation is unusual. But I love all of you. Now this is crazy. That's good. Because I'm crazy in love with you. Alex, are you sure you are okay with this, this whole situation? Yes. Because I'm into you now. Now tell me, how are you feeling now? A lot better. Welcome to my home. Welcome. Are you sure this is a good idea? What? You been in my house? Of course it's a good idea. 
I'm going to leave you to stay in that place all alone? No way. No way. Okay? Not knowing fully well that you're not okay with your condition. I have to take very good care of you under my watch until you're fully recovered. I promise you, I'm going to be a good landlord, okay? Okay. So, does this have to do with why you left? Was he doubting your pregnancy? Are you asking if I cheated on my husband? You don't have to be embarrassed. No. I wasn't cheating on him. He's the father of my child. But the thing is, Tony doesn't want the baby. He's never wanted kids. And what is his reason? He lost his parents as a kid. So he had to go live with his relatives. And he had a terrible experience with that. That's a drastic step to take. Well, the experience made him take a decision never to have kids because he doesn't want his kids to go through what he went through. You knew about this and you agreed to it? Why did you do that? Because I loved him. I thought he would change his mind afterwards. When I got pregnant with this child, I told him about it. But he insisted I have an abortion. Well, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I told him I wanted to keep the baby. And I threatened to leave if I did. I didn't know he would leave. I didn't see it coming. Beautiful baby. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to let it go. And how do you explain that you are so afraid of all the happiness that you would right. ever know? This is it. Okay? For your comfort. Come on, Alex, you can't possibly leave your room for me. I can move to another room. No. This is the most comfortable room in the house. Okay? You need to stay here. For your comfort of you and your baby. Alex. I insist. Oh. You stay here, okay? You need to relax. Go take your shower. Have big, big shirts in the wardrobe. You can wear them. Okay, let me go attend to some other stuff. Maybe tomorrow we'll go pick some of your clothes. Thank you very much for everything. It's okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon.
Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm just replying work mails. No. No, no, no. You shouldn't be stressing yourself. I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you are not. I insist. Stop stressing yourself. Come, let's go. Have you forgotten what the doctor said? I'm good. He specifically said you should be resting. Okay? I'm going to give order. Three months rest for you. You need a bed rest. Let's go. You can't do that. That's, that's not due process. <laughs> it is. That's why I'm the boss. Okay? <laughs> so I want to go and make breakfast for you now. Really? You cook? Mm -hmm. Yes. You'll be amazed, actually. Wow. So can I watch you do that? Because you don't get to see your boss cook every day. It's okay. It's fine. Good. Okay. Good night then. Alex. Yes. Why don't you come spend the night with me?
idea. You look so beautiful. No, I look ugly and fat. Look at you. Stop. You are the most beautiful pregnant woman on earth. <laughs> Alex, you know you have a way of always making me feel good about myself. I mean, you're one crazy, the only crazy man to fall in love with a pregnant woman. Okay. Thank God you know that I'm crazily in love with you. <laughs> Alex, thank you for doing this with me. You have no idea. I was lost. Drowning in misery. Life seemed so bleak for me. Until you came into my life. You want to make a grown up man cry, right? <laughs> no. I refuse to cry. So now let's go. Let's go. Let's go, darling. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Okay, so I was saying that okay. it's even very nice that we are all here with you. Tony. Yvonne. Tony. Yvonne! Tony! Tony, don't you dare act like you don't know me. I am calling you. Don't even think back out on me. How could you if ignore me and ignore the fact that I'm carrying your born child? Who does that? How can't you not just care? Hey, Tony, how could you be so careless? How could you be so heartless and ignore me? Now acting like you don't know me. Tony, I'm talking to you. Don't you dare walk out on me again. That's what you always do. Walk out. Aren't you a coward? How dare you, Tony? What do you want from him? What do you want to hear from him? I, I, I don't know. I, I just wanted to know why... I just wanted to know why he... This man have no regards for you. But you are still hoping and wanting him back. Well, is that what it is? Yvonne, do you want him back? Well, I have news for you. He's not coming back. You must be a fool for you to think he will ever come back to you. Someone that doesn't even care about you or your baby. Well, get your act together. There's only so much a man can take. I should get you one of the domestic staff to assist you. Alex, I'll be fine, okay? There's no cause to worry. If there's anything, I'll just call Oge. She's a few minutes away. I feel terrible leaving you. Not now that your date is close. I'll be fine. Look, Alex, I'm really sorry about the other day. Sorry, I shouted at you too. Will you know what I mean? Uh, 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 
I love your crazy self. I love you too. So how did your meeting go today? I did. The talk was so long. So, so long. <laughs> you sound awfully bored. Definitely. I'm bored without you, and you know it. And it's lonely here without you too. Uh-huh. How are you? And what are you up to? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm just here, out here relaxing. Ow. What is it, baby? Are you alright? I just, I just felt a sharp pain. Ow! Baby! Are you okay? Oh! I think the baby is coming. Oh my god. Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe let me quickly call Ogie yeah, to come and meet you. Yes, please. Please, please, please. Oh! Mmm. Hello? Hello, Oge? You need to meet her, Alex. She's so beautiful. It's a miracle. We can't wait to see you too. Latest mom in town. Hello. <laughs> okay. So um, I'll be going home now to prepare something special. Special maternity pepper soup. <laughs> bye bye, girl. All right. Get some rest, eh? Latest mommy in town. <laughs> Yummy mommy. See you soon. All right, darling. Thanks. Hmm. Hello? Hi, uh, it's me. I have a message for Tony. you wanted to see me. I wanted you to meet her. She's beautiful. What do you want to hold her? She's so perfect. Um. <clears throat> Yvonne, I know I've hurt you. I know I've caused you so much pain. I 
I know these few months must have must have been very difficult for you, but believe me, it was same here. I have missed you. I know you think I'm a monster. Maybe that's what I am actually, but... But you don't know. You don't know the life I've lived. You don't know the options I had. The choices I had to choose from. The struggles I had to battle with to get to where I am today. The story I told you about my being the only child and an orphan. It's a lie. I I grew up in the people that give birth to me, I, maybe they are alive, maybe they are not, I don't know and I don't care. I was born into abject poverty even. I struggled all the way through. I watched my parents live in squalor. Instead, they, they continued having more babies, babies that they could not cater for. I am the sixth child amongst 12 siblings. I was the last I know about. You don't want to know. I went through a hell. I watched my siblings and I feed from, from leftovers on the streets. I watched my siblings die because my parents could not afford, afford simple medical care. Instead, they, they carried out their frustrations on us. The worst actually happened when I had to eat dog food. Yes, you don't want to know what it feels like to eat food left for dogs. From that moment, I made up my mind that I wanted more. I wanted better. So I ran away. I ran in search of a better life. From that moment, I, in the search for a better life, I, I decided that I was never going to have a child. Not after all I went through. When I heard about the child, I thought within myself and that if I come and see the child, that I might feel, feel something different. <laughs> and now I have her in my arms, in my hand. But I feel nothing different. Yvonne, I'm sorry I failed you. I'm sorry I failed both of you. I'm really sorry. I have to go. So what do I tell her when she asks of her father?
Just tell her the truth. Tell her exactly what happened. You need to get some help, Tony. Hi, Alex. I came as soon as I could. How are you? Very well. Oh. She's so beautiful. Like a mom. Look at her eyes. She got that from her father. Are you okay? Tony was here. How did he know? I called his lawyer. Yvonne. I know. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted him to meet her. She's still his child. I wanted to give him that chance to get to know her. At least see her. I thought if he saw her, he would accept her. Well, did he? You are right, Alex. I didn't know him. I just realized today that I've been married to a stranger all those years. I don't know him. But from now on, I owe him nothing. Have you given her a name yet? Mm -hmm. 
Alexis. How do you escape the woes of yesterday? Sometimes it feels so hard to Hey cutie, daddy's here. <laughs> Smile for daddy, there she goes. <laughs> you are so afraid of all the happiness that you would ever know. Oh, no doubt you may have been hurt. Alex, what did you do? Oh my god, you shouldn't have, Alex. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please lay her down. Oh, God. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Alex, this is. Oh my God. Marry me, Yvonne. Alex! <laughs> oh my God! How do you <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.